cash in and trash out. That's exactly what these geocachers are doing in Police Point Park in Medicine Hat. While the southeastern Alberta region cache hunters are out geocaching, they're picking up garbage to help clean up the parks. Chair of the Medicine Hat Search Club, Clinton Pollock, says it's important for them to leave the environment in a clean state. So we do different things as geocachers. We, as we go out, we pick up the garbage, uh, try to make sure we leave the area as clean as possible as we came to find it, if not better, and to respect the environment because it's going to be there for future generations. He says the geocachers want to be role models for the rest of the community. And also uh, it allows us to be able to get out and tell other people about geocaching. Uh, and if it means coming down to uh, one of the many parks we have, like down here at Police Point Park, to clean it up, it's, uh, you know, it's really good for uh, everybody as a whole. Geocaching is a real world treasure hunt where people try to locate hidden containers called geocaches with a GPS or smartphone. Kit Hillsden is a member of the search club and says she enjoys geocaching because it allows her to get outside. It gets me exploring places and seeing things I would never see if I was just on vacation with my family and walking around doing tourist things. It gets you to see historical locations, cool environmental places and you get to win prizes at every cache and sign a logbook and see what everyone else around the world is doing. It's a great thing to get more involved in the community, getting more people out, caring about what they're doing, leaving no trace for all the activities they're doing. Geocaching can be tricky at times because caches are found in odd locations like in bushes or under rocks, on paths, off paths. And it's best to get out there and clean up the trash around so people can enjoy the outdoors in its natural state. Police Point Park is over 300 acres and Chief Park Interpreter Corlene Gardner says things can deteriorate, so the help cleaning up is greatly appreciated. The fact that they're willing to help organize these things and come out and, and do some of the work just adds to the enjoyment of everybody who uses Police Point Park. Uh, without people willing to put in a little bit of work, things can get run down pretty fast. Uh, things like the illegal fire pits, if they're left there, then other people think it's okay to burn up dead wood which actually is really important for some of the animals. She says the search club has helped out Police Point Park in years past. One year they pulled invasive species out of the park. Another year they wrapped chicken wire around some of our big cottonwoods to protect them from the beavers. So they're a great group, lots of enthusiasm, lots of fun, and I always welcome uh, new members, other people to come and join in. For more information about the Southeastern Alberta Region Cash Hunters, you can visit their website at www.searchmh.com. For Shaw TV's Earth Day, I'm Leanne Evans in Medicine Hat.